Hello you guys, this is Kula Tisa Matthews and for this video I'm going to try to, I don't really plan on recording but I am now so this is going to go back to manga this time I hope I'm keeping in order because this one might be, no it probably will be split into two parts only because I bought so much that day one, two, three, four, five, seven manga so I go okay so I'm gonna start with obviously the more popular game game because it's a manga and yes so originally the company Udon who publishes um, art books they publish manga too and that's the company that is publishing Persona 4 so here it is very awesome like they were supposed to release this earlier but I just really don't know what happened so manga mystery thriller and what's cool about this is despite it being this it has you don't you can't take it off so that's actually so much better you guys really better trust me will you come tomorrow persona 4 Alright, so I'm going to tell you a funny story when I was looking through this. For some reason, okay, I was about to say, why in the world would they use a colored page for just a black and white page here? Who are you guys? Creepy teddy stare, to be honest. And I can't read what it says. Make makes you... Fresh. Oh, you can't fight if you're thirsty. All right. So, uh, first of all, do I really don't need to explain about Persona. It's popular. I first played it. First play. Yeah, actually, yeah. I first played it on the PS2. That's how I found out about it. Ever since then, I was hooked. And then I got the Vita, and that's even 100 million times better. And now, God knows when Volume 5, um, sorry, Series Number 5, Persona 5 is going to get released. And, you know, it's just a very popular, popular game. Definitely mystery, drama, high school, romance, all that crazy stuff. Horror, mature themes, because, yeah. So, when I was looking through the manga, I was like, this name kept popping up, Seita Soji, and I clearly don't remember it. Seita Soji and this in persona. And I was like, why is his name different? Uh... And it actually explained. So, it's pretty hilarious how the person who did the manga actually put an explanation here. So, name a character that held a special place in the hearts of so many gamers. That's the reason why. In all honesty, I find that... I don't think I showed you the, the thing, this thing. The spine. I find that really weird. I can understand it being a special name, but to not name the manga... The, the main character? I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that's weird? I mean, hey, everyone is different, but I just find that strange, so I have no idea why. Seita Soji. It's like... <laughs> I just cannot accept that name. I don't mind if things change, but this is definitely one I cannot accept. And flipping... Oh, damn, did you see that? Flipping through this is definitely amazing. <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. I never... Let's be honest, I never thought this would come to America, despite the games being popular. Because I think this manga is a few years old. And it would make sense, because the game was released 2008 here. The fourth one? I'm not sure, at least the American release. I don't know anything about Japanese. We got Steins Gate. It might say here, 2009. Yeah, 2009. 14, 15, and that's six years. So, yep, we have Persona 4, volume number one. It definitely seems to be following the game. Not Triple H, but the actual game. Not Triple H. <laughs> and 
simultaneously. I think that's the right word. So, I don't really know. I think simultaneous. Oh, I don't know. The same time that I found the manga, I found this one here. So, we've got the Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth P, side P3. So, here we got volume number one. And we got, uh, I don't know their names. I really don't. I think his name is Ren. And I really don't remember his name either. Oh. Well, let's look in the back. Names, please. Ren? Oh, oh Minato. I don't know if that's his name in the manga here. So, I just bought a lot of colored pages. So, Ren and... Ugh. Oh, so these are the titles of the name. So, we got Chibis here. So, here we got Chibi. I mean, I didn't even think this would even get released here. So, Tartarus is pretty cool. Come on, bro. What's your name? <laughs> It's been a while, so I cannot remember. Technically, I I I I guarantee there's obviously differences between the P3 side and P4. So kind of what I'm looking at is sort of a spoiler. To moi, because I've never played the P3 side. So yes, this is definitely one of those uh bad things. If you don't want to spoil it, you're gonna have to uh. Play it. You know, I'm pissed. Why can I not remember her name? Now, this scene in the game, the at least the P4 side, was hilarious when they shrunk in size. Zen. Oh, shit. Ren? Wait, who's... So, his name is Zen. <laughs> oh, I, he was almost right. <laughs> almost right. So... Takeba, that's not... Oh, God, that... His face scared the shit out of me. He's a nagi. Go, he's a nagi. Please, please. <laughs> Ray. Oh. Wow, her name is Ray. I just could not figure out her name or remember it. Oh my god, my, my thumb hurts. So, this is the P3 side. And I do have the P4 side with me, but that's for a later video. So, yep, they released these two. And since the video is already long enough as it is, I might just show you these three and then the other four the other video. So just to uh, keep up with the gaming image, I'm going to be showing you Devil Survivor, Devil Survivor, number three. And here we've got Atsuru Sun and, oh my god, Pyro Jack, I believe so. Oh, the memory, memory can be pretty shit, Pyro Jack. Jack Fudos. Yeah, I think it is Pyro Jack. Oh, come on. Oh, I, I just literally skipped a lot of pages by mistake. So, I think he's awake. I gotta say, I definitely like the uh, manga. It's pretty uh, awesome. The art is amazing. I don't know what else to say. Oh! Haru is pretty cute looking here. Not here, I meant to say in the manga. Because you kind of don't really see her a lot in the game. And Mi Do D is awesome too. Not her voice, because her voice will bleed the shit out of your ears. I apologize. I don't remember her name. Oh my god, I'm forgetful, but uh... She's the voice actor that took over Sato Nakatie from per, 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 Persona 4. P4. 
Kuru Sana for. So she is known for a screechy voice. Aha! Uh -huh. This is Jack Frost! He's always everywhere. Because he's, he's like the barrel of uh, the Atelier series. So, oh, ho. did you see him get demolished there a little bit there? Belder, you know, the last time I saw him in the manga, I, I was not able to recall his name either. So his name is fucking Belder. Oh, my God. You know what? Hmm. Nah, you know, I'll just keep it to the gaming thing and just show you these three. And I will see you in part two. So, bye you guys. Come on, come on. Bro, it's not working. I know you